Back in the 1960s, Italian architect Paolo Soleri believed that the urban planning of his time was not sustainable. He believed that cities were too big, too wasteful, and too isolated. His dream was to build a harmonious town that would balance architecture and ecology. He thought, this is how people are meant to live. Simple, social, sustainable. Out here, the locals are known as Arconauts, and this site is their urban laboratory. So Larry called his philosophy arcology, and he wanted to prove that it was more than just an utopian vision. He wanted to make it real. Soleri was once a student of the legendary American architect, Frank Lloyd Wright. And like Wright, he had his students construct his visionary buildings by hand while they learned his philosophy and methodology. Soleri lived nearby in Paradise Valley, Arizona. His home and studio, called Casanti, is now surrounded by golf courses and McMansions. However, it remains a brilliant example of organic architecture. Today, the subterranean buildings and winding paths are open to the public, and you can see they seem ahead of the time. At Arcasanti, most of the structures are built using a method called silt casting. Dirt pulled from the site is used to create forms, which are then filled with concrete. Once the concrete sets, the forms are broken and brushed away with the dirt returning to the earth. Walkways, bridges, and stairs connect the structures. Natural solar energy is used for warmth in winter, while domes and canopies cool in summer. There are spaces for living, working, and entertaining just feet away from each other. Since 1970, over 7,000 people have lived and worked at Arcasanti. Right now, about 80 people live here from all corners of the globe. Since the early days, Arcasanti has been funded by the sale of Paolo Soleri's famous wind bells. These bells are cast by hand in this foundry. No new buildings have been dedicated since 1989, and Soleri passed away in 2013. But Arcasanti is still a laboratory where city living is explored. Plus, the foundation now has a couple of rooms available on Airbnb, and a music festival called Form Arcasanti is held here in the spring. This community was intended to be a prototype. Soleri thought that there will be many Arcasantis, and each new version would be an improvement. One has to accept the notion of failure, he said. The next step will be more promising than the last.